Travels with Phil continues in, I'm going to probably mispronounce it, but Naden Hooten, Ohio. This was a uh, area that was settled in the 1700s by uh, missionaries with uh, American Indians, primarily uh, Mohican and Delaware, Lenin and Lenape. Uh, the Moravians, uh, they did a lot of missionary work among the Indians in uh, the early 1700s, well, even longer than that. This area here, though, unfortunately, is the scene of one of the most uh, tragic incidents that ever happened. Uh, the Indians here were forcibly removed to uh, Sandusky because the British thought that they might be helping the uh, Americans. Well, they were about to starve. One group was allowed to return here to pick up the crops that had left when they were forced to abandon the village. Well, uh, there had been some raiders in western Pennsylvania, some Indians uh, that were not this group. Uh, these people here were captured because some of the people, some of the colonists thought these might be the ones that were raiding. Now, these Christian Indians, uh, they would put the men in one cabin and the women in another. And uh, on the next morning, 90 men, women, and children were killed. Uh, only two of them uh, managed to survive. As I recall, I have to look it up, but as I recall, the uh, houses were set on fire and they burned to death. Uh, right here you see the burial mound, what was left in the Christian community, they were considered to be martyrs. And so this is the uh, historical site. We have a couple of old buildings here. The uh, log cabin you see down here, right up there, that's where the first white child was born in Ohio. And this large monolith here is uh, also erected as a memorial to the uh, Newton Hooten Indians that uh, died here. This is in uh, South Central Ohio. Travels with Phil continues.